Hey everyone, Paul Kimian here with the World Cultures Club and we're going to talk about some of the holidays going on around this time of year. So first, we're going to start off with what's going on right now, Hanukkah. Um, I'm Jordan Schwartz, I'm a freshman. Hanukkah is eight days because the village in Israel was running out of oil to light the holy menorah. All the bottles of oil were destroyed except for one and nobody thought the oil could last for more than two nights. However, it lasts for eight nights, so that's why it is eight days long. Um, Hanukkah's meaning is to commemorate the holy light and how it burned. That's why we call it the Festival of Lights. The menorah is lit each night of the holiday, and there is one main candle that sits higher than the rest, and it is called the Shamash. It is the helper candle, and it lights all the other candles, and it is more significant than the others. And when lighting the menorah, you say prayers. You say three on night one, and on the other seven nights, you say two. Hey, thanks, Ed. Um, hi, I'm Aiden Guglimati, and I'm in 10th grade. Um, so on Hanukkah, people eat fried foods during the holiday, such as jelly donuts or potato pancakes. Um, and the fried food is to represent the oil that burned for the eight nights. Um, a fun game people like to play during the holiday is that you spin a spinning top called the dreidel. And the dreidel has four sides, all labeled in Hebrew, and you can put on Hanukkah chocolates called jelt in the middle of the game and spin to win. And then on Hanukkah, people traditionally give and get gifts for their loved ones for the holiday. All right, now let's move on next to Christmas. Hi, I'm Nana Piscate and I'm a senior. Some facts that we have about Christmas is Christmas is a Christian festival that celebrates the birth of Jesus Christ. Alabama was the first state to officially recognize Christmas in 1836. Jingle Bells was originally a Thanksgiving song, but was changed to a Christmas carol. The first Christmas was on December 25th in the 4th century, and the word Christmas comes from the Old English uh, Christmas, which means Christ's Mass. Very interesting stuff. Anything to add? Hi, I'm Katie Liao. Uh, I'm a junior, and I'm the vice president of the World Cultures Club. Um, some more facts about Christmas are that Germans made the first artificial Christmas tree out of dyed goose feathers. Uh, it takes 15 years to grow a Christmas tree. Um, traditional Christmas foods are turkey, mashed potatoes, gravy, ham, and lamb. Santa Claus is called many different names around the world, like Father Christmas, um, Pierre, Noel, and many others. Uh, the 12 days of Christmas is a period in Christian theology that marks the span between the birth of Christ and the coming of the Magi, the three wise men. Very interesting stuff. And now moving on to our last holiday here, Kwanzaa. Here, can you tell me a little bit about that? Hi, my name is Zara Sheikh. I'm a junior and I'm the secretary of the World Cultures Club. The word Kwanzaa comes from the Swahili phrase Matunda Ya Kwanzaa, which refers to the harvest festivals of the first fruits of, in Africa. The seven principles of Kwanzaa include unity, self-determination, collective work and responsibility, cooperative economics, purpose, creativity, and faith. The Kinara holds seven candles, with three green ones on the right, three red ones on the left, and one black one in the center. The black candle stands for unity, and the red and green candles represent the struggle out of slavery. The unity cup is used to pour liberation offerings to the forefathers and mothers, and Kwanzaa was created by Dr. Moana Karanga in 1966 as a way for African-American families to reconnect together. Very interesting stuff there. Do you have anything to add? I do. I'm Samantha Arturo. I'm a junior, and I'm the president of the World Cultures Club. So Kwanzaa is a cultural celebration rather than a religious celebration and instead Kwanzaa is a seven day ritual to welcome the first harvest to the home for the new year. Kwanzaa is celebrated each year and it is a celebration that lasts once again seven days from December 26th to January 1st. And many people celebrate Kwanzaa by decorating their home in African art or other traditional colors that represent the holiday including green, black or red. And many people also wear traditional African clothing. On the last day of Kwanzaa, families often, often gather for a large fe feast called Karamu, and sometimes Karamu is celebrated at a local church or community center, and they enjoy traditional African dishes. And did you know the first U.S. postage stamp commemorating Kwanzaa was issued in 1997? Okay, well, thank you to the World Cultures Club. Very interesting stuff here. And this is, this is Paul Kimian signing out. Am I the bad guy for calling my sister selfish over brownies? So 
It says, hi, I, 16 male, recently had a disagreement with my sister, May, 14, over some homemade brownies she had baked. So here's what happened. My sister loves baking and often spends time in the kitchen. However, something that has become frustrating is her habit of spending an excessive amount of time taking photos of the things she bakes to post on Instagram. Like she takes 10 minutes on it. This became more of an issue when she made brownies the other day. As soon as the brownies were out of the oven, my other sisters and I wanted some. We started taking a few brownie bites, and May saw what we were doing and immediately told us not to touch them until she had taken her photos. I responded by saying, you take photos all the time, and I'm sure you have images of brownies somewhere else. Just let us eat these now. My comment upset her, and she insisted that we had no right to eat the brownies without her permission, considering she was the one who made, a, made them. She left the room crying. Am I the bad guy? I think you are the bad guy. She's the one that made them. Like, if you want to eat brownies right out of the oven, then just make them yourself. Okay, but in that context, what if he can't cook <laughs> or bake? Well, then he needs, he needs to start learning some skills. And also, I mean, I kind of agree with this point. She definitely has photos of brownies somewhere else. I'm sure she does. I'm sure she does. That's true. But also, how are you going to eat brownies right out of the oven? I know they'd be way too hot. They'd be melty. I think that... If she wants to take 10 minutes taking photos, they're still going to be warm after the 10 minutes. So, like, just let her be. And I live in a big family, and I know that even, like, days after the brownies are made, my family will still be eating them, even if they are hard as a rock and cold. Yeah, same. I think it's fine. I feel like if they wanted the brownies, or I feel like a compromise could have been that she didn't need to take, if she made, like, a solid, like, five brownies, she didn't need to take a photo of all five. She could have, like given them one, and then, like, taken photos of the four. Like, I feel yeah. like there could have been a compromise in the middle. I definitely think there could have been a compromise. I personally think that this person is the bad guy, though. I also, f okay, but I feel like it's a bit dramatic that he she ran out of the room yeah, crying I over brownies. I feel like you can always just make a new batch of brownies. That's true. That's true. She seems a little sensitive. Um, but... I also think it's excessive to take 10 minutes on photos. I feel like you could take, like, two photos, be done. Yeah, I'm not exactly sure what sort of filters she had to be using for it to take that long. But, you know, I feel like if she wants to do that, go ahead. Like, if she wants to post all these photos of brownies that she made, I guess go ahead. Yeah, but, I mean, in... Not in, in her defense, I feel like this guy is the bad guy because he didn't ask before he took. He, like, just took it. He, like, and then she was just, like, mad. And he, like, if he, maybe if he had asked before, she could have been, like, okay, have one. But then. Yeah, he seems kind of entitled to me. He seems like, okay, I deserve these cookies. Like, he should have made them himself. And also he might feel a bit of entitled because it says he's 16 and she's 14. So he might yeah. be like, well, I'm older, mm -hmm. so. I feel like if your sister is, your younger sibling is better at making brownies than you, then you have a problem right in it there. Yeah. So we've concluded that he is the bad guy? Yes. So that was our two stories for today. Make sure to check in on other episodes coming soon. And yeah. Bye. <laughs>